Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our TypeScript series. So in this video, we are going to talk about arrays declaration in TypeScript. We know that array is the collection of multiple similar type of data, just like we did in JavaScript. Same way we can define in the TypeScript also, but in the TypeScript, what we can do, we can define the type of the array. We can define that any type of the values also we can define that. So let's see how to do this. So what we will do here, we will create one, let's see, arrays concept dot ts file that I'm going to create. And here I'm going to declare an array. So how to declare an array with the square bracket. So I'm writing, let's see, one variable name names. Let's say I really want to store all the employee names. And in TypeScript, we know that we can define the type of the variable. So let's see, name is the variable name that I have defined. And then I really want to tell that a string array type that we can define here. So what is a string array? A string array is the type of the names, or you can say a string array is the data type of the names. And then we can define the values here. So for example, let's say I'm defining some names here, Tom, uh, Peter, <clears throat> then let's say I'm writing uh, Naveen here, then I'm writing another one, let's see uh, Ravi here like that. Perfect. So here you can see that, yes, I have declared an array here. If I really want to take the specific value from this particular names array, so this will be at the zeroth location, zeroth index, first, second, and third. So what we can do, you can just simple pass the index and then you can get the value from here. So let's uh, simple run it. <clears throat> I'll do one thing. Let me just compile it and then we will run it. So simple, I'm just going to compile it first. Let's see, this is my arrays concept.ts. And we will see that what is the equivalent uh, .js file that is actually getting created. So here, this is the equivalent .js file. And here you can see that a simple JavaScript array named is equal to Tom, Peter, Naveen, and Ravi. So here you can see the JavaScript syntax is like that. And here we have uh, not defined, it is not defining any kind of types of these names. But here, if you see that we have defined the type of name is a string array. Right. So now we have compiled it. Now I'm going to run this arrays concept with the node. So here I'm writing dot <coughs> JS and you can see the Tom, we are getting it here. Simple. Now I'll do one thing that uh, using a generic type also, that also we can use it. So using generics also, we can define it just like we do it in, in Java. So what we can do it here that uh, here I'm going to create, let's see one variable name or let's see let and then I'm writing let's see employee names and I want that in this particular array only and only string values are allowed right so what we can do here is that we can declare with the array also here like that and then here in this a diamond bracket like this and then we can tell that what will be the type of this employee names in this particular array and then we can define like this also so let's see whatever the employee names that you want to write you can write it here so let's see i'll just copy the same thing here that i'm defining here like that so you can restrict that okay only and only uh string type of values we can define here so just like if you really want to have only numbers then in that case let's see i'm writing just employee ids and then i'm saying that ids will only be in number so see immediately it's giving me the error at the compile time that in this employee IDs array, you can define only numbers. So here I cannot define the strings here. So let's say I'm writing some numbers here like this. Perfect. Okay. What if I really want to define some, uh, any type of data that also we can do it. So in that case, we have to write any over here. So for example, let's say I'm writing some employee info array. So what is the type? The type is array and then any type of data we can define it here. So let's see, I'm writing some employee ID one employee name is, uh, let's see Naveen. And then I'm writing some Boolean value. Then I'm writing some null values also that also we can define it here like this. Okay. So this is another way using the generics. Also, we can define it here like that. Perfect. Okay, so now if I, let's see what is the conversion. Okay, when we do the compilation from ts to .js, how exactly in the JS this array will look like. So let's compile it again. And uh, let's see, I'm running it again. So let's see in the arrays concept.js. So here you can see that employee name is like this, employee ID like this, employee info like this, right? So here it's a better 
better readable that okay in this particular employee names we have only and only string type of data this is number type of data or this is any type of data we can define it here like that i'll do one thing let me just delete this i don't need this file and uh, move to trash perfect now <clears throat> can we define the multi type of multi type array so let's see that multi type array what does it mean it means an array in in typescript that array can contain elements of the different data types using the same generic types we can define it so for example let's see i'm going to create one values and i say that okay no in this particular value array it can hold a string also or can number either of them right but not null or not boolean so only a string and number so what we can do here in the bracket we can define it that i'm saying that either a string or the number we can define it here like this and then you have to put the square bracket now in this particular array we can define only strings and number so for example let's see here i'm writing that tom and uh, some number here let's see 100 then again i'm writing uh naveen and the some number is let's see 200 but the moment i try to store let's see true here a boolean value it will give you the error because we have restricted that in this particular array you just need to define only and only a string and the number okay perfect so like this also we can define it here if you really want to define in the form of uh, generics that also we can define it so how will you define it so let's create another let's see uh, variable so let's see here i'm creating that uh, uh, let's see well and then i really want to define the generic so we have to use array put a diamond bracket here like this and then you can write a string or the number type that we can define it which is equal to again a string and the number or whatever you want to write so let's say string and i'm writing boolean that's it no number so what exactly i can do here some string that i'm writing once again let's say tom and then the boolean value true but the moment i store 100 it will give you error why because 100 is not type of boolean or a uh, string here like this perfect so like this also we can define it here what we can do that uh, we can do first array uh, declaration and then initialize that also we can do it so for example let's say i'm going to create another declaration first only declaration so i'm saying that okay fine that i want some uh, let's see users is the array and uh, here i'm defining that array and then i really want to store all the users names so i'm writing simple string here and that's it so this is called declaration that i have done now i really want to define the values or initialize the values which is equal to in the next line also we can define some names here right so let's see i'm writing peter comma uh, whatever the name that you want to define naveen here like this also you can do it here so the data type could be anything a string type or number type or whatever you can define it here like this as well perfect <laughs> So let's see, for example, let's see, uh, we have declared this particular array employee name. So I'll do one thing. I'll just copy and then paste it here. Once again, let me write the different names here. Let's say this is my employees is the array or let's write the full name here that employees is the array name and having four values. Now I really want to iterate the array. So what we have to use, we have to use the for loop here, right? So we can use, a uh, for loop here you can use a uh, for in loop also or index based for loop also we can do it here so let's see the first uh, index based loop how to use it it means a simple write for and then putting a bracket here then i'm creating a variable let's see let variable and then i is equal to zero and then i'm saying that i is less than what less than the employee whatever this employees dot length variable that we can use it so what is the length of this employee array four values are there so length will be four and then i'm writing i plus plus here simple and then here i'm writing that console dot log and i really want to that what is the employee array name and then put a square bracket and then supply the index i here like this and that's it okay so let's uh, see this is it really working or not so what i'll do first i'll compile and then run it so let's compile it with the tsc and uh, here i'm writing the file name 
it will be compiled. When it is compiled, arrays concept.js file is available. Now with the help of node, I'm just running it. So with the node, you have to run the JS file. So that we have already seen. So now can you see Tom, Peter, Naveen, Ravi getting printed on the console? Perfect. So you can use index based for loop also, or you can use a for in loop also. We can use it. If you have already covered my uh, JavaScript thing, what do you mean by for loop and everything? There is no point of covering the for loop and such things. Once again, it's very simple, simple use for and uh, just create any variable name. For example, let's see, I'm writing let E simple, right? E in employees here like this. And then what we have to print simple console.log. And then I'm writing that printing the value of E here. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Print the value of E. So see, remember we have to compile it, compile it. And then the .js file will be updated here. So here you can see that the respective JavaScript file here. Can you see here that exactly that first employee array, this is the index based for loop and this is the for in loop here. And then uh, let's simple run it with the node. And then here I'm writing .js and see it's giving me the, the value of E print with the index. So simple write that employees. And then after that, E because E is actually representing the index here. Okay. So we have to write employees E here. Okay. So let's run it again. So first we have to compile it again and uh, run it again. So now we can see that Tom, Peter, Naveen and Ravi. Perfect. So don't print E directly. E is representing the index. And if you really want to print with the index, so let's see if I'm writing E plus, or let's see here I'm writing, okay, E plus with some colon. And then plus, if I really want to print along with the index, then you can do it here. So let's see it again, again, compile and uh, again, run it with the node. So here you can see zero with Tom one is available with Peter. Naveen is available on second. Ravi is available on the third position here like that. Simple. So this is the way that we have to define the concept of iteration for loop and everything will remain same. The only thing is that declaration part is such a nice declaration. The way we do it in other programming languages like Java or uh, C sharp, exactly same way we can define in the form of generics, multiple type of array. Also we can declare it. And here the type of the variable, the array variable, we can define it here like that. So this is giving you more visibility, more readability before capturing the error at the runtime. We are capturing the error at the compile time itself and we are declaring it. Most of the things while writing the code, not like JavaScript. I hope this is clear. Thank you so much, guys.